At the top tonight, the push for Nueces County Republican Chair and former County Sheriff Jim Kalin to resign. The push for him to resign continues from his position weeks after Kalin faced backlash for report, reportedly reposting a controversial article on social media that some considered to be racist. It led to Republican Governor Greg Abbott calling for his resignation and the resignation also of the chair in Bear County, who also shared that post. Something both party chairs have declined to do. Our Bill Churchwell has the update for us tonight. Drivers along SPID near Everhart will soon see this in bold letters on a billboard. Resign Kalen, a quote from Governor Greg Abbott. And we joined Governor Greg Abbott and many other Republican elected officials in asking Jim Kalen to resign. The billboard goes live on Thursday and was paid for by the local civil rights chapter Lulag Para Todos. Eric Olguin is the group's president. The community needs to know that he has not stepped down yet. And so by having a consistent message out there that um, he needs to resign, it'll be a constant reminder and a constant flash in our community's head that we have a racist as the chairman of a local political party. The backlash began with an article Kalen reposted to social media suggesting the death of George Floyd was a staged event by Democrats to make President Trump look bad. Kalen says the article was sent to him by a state police investigator and that he decided to share it simply for consideration. During a press briefing last month, Kalen stood firm that he would not resign. I did not use the county Republican page so I stand behind my rights as a citizen of this great nation and country not to bow down to some government bureaucrats. I did make several attempts to reach out to Kalen to get his response to the billboard. First, by calling the Nueces County Republican Party headquarters and through his direct line. And while he was unreachable, he did take to the very platform where this controversy started. In his Facebook post, Kalen speaks out against one of the members of the civil rights organization, Nancy Vetta. He writes in part, quote, Nancy and her team think I am a force which must be dealt with in order to advance their political agenda. They will fail in this effort. I pray they do fail and big. Olguin, who is running on the Democratic ticket in November for the state representative District 32 seat, says this is not about party politics. Um, him refusing to resign um, is hurting bringing our community together. There's so much divisiveness going on in the world right now in the state of Texas and the community. The billboard is expected to be up for about a month. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.